2010 ang tagumpay na nadibensahan ng ating pambansang kamao ang WBO World Welterweight Title mula sa pambato ng bansang Ghana na si Joshua Cloutty. By unanimous decision, the fighting pride of the Philippines and still WBO Welterweight Champion of the World, Manny! ay agad umakit ng timbang ang ating pambato sa 150 pounds upang labanan ang noy higante na si Antonio Margarito. Sa labang ito ay maraming hindi naniniwala na matatalo ng isang Pinoy na galing sa mababang division ang noy matangkad na Mexicano sapagat masyado na raw itong mabigat para kay Pacquiao. Bago pa man nagsimula ang kanang laban ay grabe na ang panginsulto ang ginawa ni Antonio Margarito sa ating pambansang kamao. Pacquiao Margarito. May kartada ang Mexicano na 38 na panalo, 6 na talo at 27 dito ay galing sa knockout. Habang si Pacquiao naman ay may limampot isang panalo, tatlong talo, dalawang draw at tatlumpot walo dito ay sa pamamagitan ng KO. Ginanap ang kanilang laban sa Cowboys Stadium, Arlington, Texas, USA kung saan ay paglalabanan ang bakanting WBO World Super Welterweight Title. Tara mga idol at panoorin natin ang kanilang naging bakbakan. Pacquiao land, beautiful punches, even with his defense up, 
Margarita Sin was getting with punches because of the Agra Pin one punching power. Pac I see this as a wide fight for Pacquiao. I think Margarito's doing well in spots and rounds, but I haven't seen a round I thought, oh, maybe Margarito won. You know, I, I give all give three rounds to Pacquiao the distance in case he gets a knockout fan. But, you know, even though he's landing and winning the fight, he's got to be, but I hope he's in great shape. Well, I think you're looking at 12 under his right eye, so Pacquiao could do that. Yeah, Margarito's saying that Pacquiao's not hurting him, but his face is telling a different story. Indeed. And Pacquiao's beginning to land with almost every punch. The difference here is physically strong. It has to do this rather than just he heard bully about it, but Margarito all around the ring. But he's beating Margarito up in this round. It's a huge bump under Margarito's right eye. He's backing Margarito up, and he's hurting him. And I Margarito think. can say all he wants. That it would have bought it, but I think it maybe they took all the starch out of him. Margarito misses wildly with him. Most of the fighters today, they punch at the target. Very seldom do they penetrate. Pacquiao stood still for a moment, got back to the ropes, and hit the left hand shot to the bottom, which I think started all of the serious problems in Margarita. Even though he was being outpointed, seemingly with that shot, he never has recuperated. And if you notice, his body form is bending over as if he's still hurt from the body punch. Represents the largest number of punches ever landed on Antonio Margarito in a single round. And you know, Pacquiao punches very Puncher in boxing, Emmanuel. He even has the ability to adjust the punch in mid arc. Yeah. Margarito going to the body against the ropes. That would count. As always. He loves to answer back. Yes. That's, Absolutely. That's, he jolted that's, back, or jolted Margarito with the left hand there. Jolts him with fighting. And you know, he always wants to get the better of an exchange. That's why it's hard to win rounds against him. Get him on a punch, he's gonna get you back before the bell rings. And look at the different angles that the punches are coming from. Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, was asked about the huge weight advantage that was likely here for Margarito. He said, look, I know if he goes up to 180, every pound he adds is better for us. Pacquiao takes his little breathers by the ropes, and Margarito takes advantage. Didn't have a lot of snap on left hand shots for Pacquiao, staggering Margarito momentarily there. Big right hook. Great shot from side yeah, to this side. Is, this is what I said he should do continuous. Creating Look, angles. Creating angles because There's Margarito. no way Margarito can no, find him. No. No way Margarito finds him when he does that. The round to try to move into Margarito's eye where Margarito couldn't see him. That didn't work, so he started moving right. To watch Manny Pacquiao fight against Miguel Cotto. Afterward, I asked him what was most impressive. Is it easy? The footwork. I've never seen any athlete in any skill. Some bigger than others, but he's winning all of them. Now Margarito catches back out twice against the ropes, and Manny finally is able to dodge away. But this gives Margarito energy. This gives him will and confidence. Suddenly, he's back in the fight as he's tasted for a moment the advantage of having Pacquiao against the ropes. This is Pacquiao's nightmare. Locked in a trap against a much bigger man. Fights his way out of it. Here you see against the ropes, the best they change of the night. The favorite Margarita right here when he was landing a lot of blows and pull up. Man was trying to get away from him, but he was landing shots by the end of the end. But at the end, the best offensive fighter I've ever seen. He does it all and fights everybody. That's what I like about him. He's, he's, he's really enjoying himself. See what's kept Margarito up in this fight is his enormous size. The size is the only thing. Jump before the fight, you said you can see it strictly on Pacquiao's show. No, if, if I had a prediction, it was going to be that Pacquiao would win all 12 rounds. Then he... I thought Pacquiao would stop Margarito right around the sixth or seventh round. And uh, is, 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 seems to be weathering these storms pretty well in spite of the look, in spite of the way his face looks. Margarito's hanging in. He's having more flurries as the fight continues, but Pacquiao just stunned him with a right hook and backed him off again. Here you see Manny Pacquiao landing all of these precise punches, even with a guard's up high defense. He still pinpoints areas where he can get through and penetrate. But to me, the fight, the perfect fight, is the way he fought the last round. Punching, moving, in and out, taking advantage of that great natural coordination. It was a terrific, world-class, one-handed fight. Margarito banging him against the ropes here, trying to get to Pacquiao's body. That contains the fight. Pacquiao fighting back with his back on the ropes. And here comes And he Manny. turns it around and bangs Margarito dignity. Left. Margarito.
Margarito. Absolutely. You know, I've, I've trained in a gym with Margarito. What, he trains going 15 and 16 rounds. That's because he wins his fights on the stamina. So even though he's tired and, and, and being beat up pretty much, he trains himself to fight this way. So he's still going to be fighting very strong. That's his biggest factor is fighting while he's tired. And he's blocking some of the punches. Redemption for Margarito. So far, this has been a measure of redemption, and he's had success fighting in spots the way we used to see him knock out good opponents. Pacquiao up the way he did Miguel Cotto. Draw your own conclusions. I talked to Miguel earlier today, and Miguel said this was going to be a very tough fight. Because I was telling him, I thought that that guy had hit to hit. Every time that Margarita has a good rally, or so to say, it's always when he's got him pinned in the ropes. But usually right after that, always, Manny comes right back with a flare of punches. But Margarita's best success has been when he's had him in the ropes. And here it is, left uppercut, which is his weakness, right up through the center. Punches are better than a smaller guy, but a regular 140 pound rope, I think Manny would have knocked out. There was another left hand rally by Manny Pacquiao. Another anomaly. If he's in good shape and he can continue to do this, he'll win the fight fairly easy. But, you know, once he gets in the ropes, my... Unless somebody wants to stop the fight because of that right eye, which is grotesque at this point. We tell her about what was Manny Pacquiao's greatest performance? What was his most impressive feat? What was his biggest night? If this continues the way it does, and he wins all 12 rounds against a guy 17 pounds bigger than himself, touching him up as a state athletic commission to make Margarito shave off the beard, which probably they would have done. Pacquiao said, leave it there. I want to use it as a target. That's a fighter. Unbelievable machine. Boom! Another perfect right hook. see this counter right hook, which is, as I said earlier, one of the best punches that you can land, and, he, and he's very good at that. It used to be when he first came. Stop at the fight. Another measure of redemption for Margarito. Even though he's for the referee, or for, or for the fans, rather, look at me, I'm tough. He really wants to win the fight, even though he's hopelessly behind to no, get it. No hand movement at all. No hit, no Pacquiao ball. looking towards the ref, asking him to stop the fight at this point, it looks to me. Landed a shot, looked toward Coles. He again the, looks at Coles. How about much punishment, punishment do you guys punch him back? If he was back to the ropes and being hit or something, would be different. But at this stage, here, he's out being out punched, but the referee has his way up a few more seconds. Manuel, he's rearranging Margarito's face. How many clean headshots can one man take? I mean... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, goal. it's a solid target. He's not moving his head at all. This reminds me of Roy Jones against Brian Brannan. Jones actually asked the referee, when in the heck are you going to stop this fight? Similarly to this, Warner asked if they wanted the fight, or if he wanted the fight stopped, he said no. He wanted the fight to the finish. Same thing here, obviously. Not doing Margarito any good to take. He is not following through and committing the way he does most of the time. Until he felt the time was right, you know the tackler slow down against Duran and Magami. Then he took the fight. Manny Pacquiao, the citizen of the world. That's the man who's letting Margarito pick.
hanggang natapos ang laban sa huling round at dito na inanunsyo ang resulta ng kanilang bakbakan. 120-108, Glenn Crocker, 118-110, Orange Schellenberger, 119-109, all three to the winner by unanimous decision. And now winner of his eighth world championship, the fighting pride of Serengan. Huwag niyo si Pacman may unanimous decision at ito ang pangwalong division na nasungkit ng ating pambansang kamao. Sana'y nagustuhan niyo ang video ito at maraming salamat sa patuloy na pagsuporta. So hanggang dito na lang tayo mga idol.